to Tutorial Man with Spytech. Today I will explain what Aircon is. First go into your Windrelow server, then right click, go to server admin, then go down to Aircon. Aircon, I don't know if I say it right. <coughs> And then you um, you will see um, just empty things here, nothing writing or uh, anything. And then if you just uh, test like write something, it will say the command something does not exist. In this case, it's hi. So what we'll do is to write help. And that will bring us our list of things. And in the server, you see Urcon ID something, your name issued the command. So, if you're an admin and you don't like um, the guys who are in the server and just want to be alone or set the password uh, to kick everyone just simply write kick all and uh, it will say here admin kick all issued by spytech and in the aircon it will say all clients kicked so now if you write a password it will say new password and that will come for for everyone so if you write password oops and then lal the password has been changed And uh, then uh, here you can also look through th different commands. Like max clients, you can look uh, home the clients. Uh, uh, that's a max on the server. Name, look on the name on the server. Mm. We have quit to quit the Wintrello and TTS for the admins. If you write TTS it will say text. Syntax TTS text. So if you write TTS text to speech then write like hello um it will say hello in the background. Um I don't know if this goes to everyone but I think so. Mm, over here in the one trail server it says admin server TTS message sent by Spytech was hello. So you can write a whole sentence if you want. Well, mine. My TTS voice is very fast, so you can't hear what it says. But for others, it will say normally, or in the setting they have. Mm, then we have client kick. It will say it says invalid client ID. So now you see. ID 26, ID 24, like such. So, how do we look on the IDs that people have? Yeah, a problem with that too. Well, I 
think you're not able to see the IDs just when they connect it will say message connect ID something and then the IP and accept So that's tutorial for today, thank you for watching and goodbye.